What? I have to pull a Paul Begley right about now. What? Are you serious? I mean, this is absolutely insane. The Jerusalem Post is reporting the Palestinians make a play for the Dead Sea Scrolls at UNESCO. I mean, come on. I I'm for one state, all right? I am for where the Palestinians and the Israelis can live together, live in peace, and... I mean, there's a Knesset, even with Palestinian uh, Knesset members there. Okay, come on. You guys can do this and live in peace with one another. But no, they're going to keep dividing the land. Why? Because Rome has that power with uh, the world's governments, NATO's governments, according to Daniel's prophecy, and clearly gives them the edge uh, over, you know, dividing the land for gain, as Daniel speaks about in his own prophecy. Anyway, this came out uh, yesterday. On Saturday, Palestinians make a play for the Dead Sea Scrolls on UNESCO, the Jerusalem Post posting this. They drive, uh, the, the drive to lay claim to the Dead Sea Scrolls comes amid a series of resolutions passed by UNESCO that ignore Jewish ties to the Temple Mounts. So now they're going for the Dead Sea Scrolls. The authority is preparing to lay claim to the Dead Sea Scrolls in United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural organization Israel Radio reported on Saturday night. This is another provocation and audacious attempt by the Palestinians to rewrite history and to erase our connection to our land. They're reporting ambassador to, at the, uh, to UNESCO, uh, Carmel Shema uh, Ho, uh, Hakohen, said the Dead Sea Scrolls are factual and weighty archaeological evidence of the presence of the Jewish people in the land of Israel. The scrolls, a large cache of mostly Hebrew writings from the Second Temple period and its immediate aftermath were discovered in Qumran between 1947 and 1956. The article states here, I'm reading right from the article, they include many biblical texts and are believed to have been penned by the members of a Jewish sect known as the Essenes. I didn't make it up. That's what they write, right? Qumran, which is near the Dead Sea Scroll, was under British and latter Jordanian rule at the time of the discoveries. Okay, It is now located in an area C of the West Bank, which is under Israeli civil and military control. The PA considers area C to be part of its future state. It's, you know, the bad, listen, who, when they got a hold of the Dead Sea Scrolls, you know where they went to? They didn't go to the Israelis. They didn't go to the Jewish Hebrew scholars. They went to the Catholic scholars because the British were the ones controlling it. And of course, Rome controlled Britain. And that's why you never got to see all of those documents. That's why a lot of them disappeared because they didn't want you knowing that Yeshua actually had documents written there, did they? And there are Dead Sea Scroll uh, uh, scholars that have brought out how that not all of it ended up into our hands. One of those guys has since passed away. Uh, anyway, it goes on here. The Qumran is on the list of preservation areas which the PA wants to see registered under the state of Palestine and the World Heritage List. In addition, it plans to bring the matter up before Intergovernmental Committee of Promoting the Return of Cultural Property and its Countries of Origins as its restitution in case of illicit appropriation a committee that op operates in an adversary capacity to UNESCO. Okay, wait a minute. If the PA wants to do this, under what they're saying there of cultural and property to its countries of origin, okay, if that's what they want to base it on, well, the country of origin at the time of the documents that they were wrote was the country of Israel. Hello, somebody, can I get an amen in the house for that one there? All right, you know, look, I'm not here to, to throw the Palestinian people under the bus. I know there's a lot of good Palestinian people. All right, they love God. There's a lot of Christian Palestinians. But if Rome is not duping you guys and taking not only the Jewish people, but the Palestinians as well, and they're going to take you into their new world order. Look at the map of the 10 regions. Israel is, becomes nothing but one giant Islamic state. That's what it becomes. They call this the Greater Israel Project, what some of the inside government elitists are doing. No, it's not a Greater Israel Project. It is a Greater Sunni Project that is being ran by the New World Order elite. And yes, they're taking all the identity away of the Jewish people and their heritage for their land here, for where God brought them originally 
thousands of years ago and they formed a nation in here yes our sins is what took us out but you know what god also said we would come back and i know the catholic church tried to do that uh, or change the way that was happening because when it was under the ottoman empire under turkish control they actually had, had a little loophole in the law and some iranian jews came into israel and began to buy up land down around jaffa and also by the uh, the Kinneret. and they were doing that well the catholic church couldn't have that could they so they created a world war one making sure they got back into good cahoots with the British. The British go down there, they conquer the Ottoman Empire, and they put a stop to Jewish people buying land in, in that area. Why? Because the Jews were doing it the right way to begin with. The Middle Eastern Jews were buying up land, living in peace among the Arab neighbors there, but coming back, according to the prophecies, to their homeland. The church couldn't have that. They wanted to overthrow that. They did a war, crushed everything down, and then they created the Holocaust in the Second World War so that they could take and mold just the Jews they want in power inside the state of Israel today. Now, but, but there came a little backfire because there were some good, honest-hearted Jewish people after the Holocaust that made it in, and some of those have worked up into the government as well. And that has been the thorn in the Catholic Church's side ever since. So now they're working with that small people that they came up strong with, which happens to be the Palestinian Authority. It's a small people, not even the Palestinians themselves, which are really Jordanians. Okay, it is, they came up with the government side there to do what? rewrite the laws, throw the Jews out, kill them all off, and make it one big giant Arabic state. When is it ever going to become an equal partnership for people to live in peace? This is what I'm for. That's why I have stood with President Bashar al-Assad in this attack on his country. Even he is being crushed and smitten down. Why? Because they want this one big giant Sunni state. And for the Jews that think that this is the greater Israeli project, it's not for Israel. It is for a Sunni Arab state, and you'll just have to live under that. That's what the plan is in the long run. And again, this is why we're seeing things like this here. Rome is making sure that the PA does exactly what it says because Rome wants to control Qumran to make sure no other books are discovered that the Israelis might find out what the truth is. As we did on the Noon Institute today, we did a message about the hidden scrolls that have been discovered. And guess what? Rome, you can't hide it. We know where they are now. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.